And good morning, people. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. It's September 18th. Tomorrow I gotta go to the dentist and remove the stitches out of my mouth. Always fun. Now, I just watched Hubble's Cat, Poverty in America. It's a very nice video, and he did a good job of editing and stuff. But, like most socialists, they get too big in the head. And the famous one he did was Toy Story's explanation of uh, the capitalist choking the worker. Well, that goes back to the 17th century, or 18th century, uh, during the French Revolution, where they show the first socialists, you know, revolutionaries, showing the church, the state, uh, the uh, what you call it, royal family, and the bourgeois, Choking the life out of the poor French peasant. You know what happened to Louis the <laughs> Fourteenth? Okay, a lot of people do these bits on socialism. It's a nice in, uh, what you been called oh. indoctrination. Now, there's a few socialists I do like, like George Orwell, who explained Toy Story's. Uh, the what you call capitalist joking on the worker, and he explained that just like what I'm explaining to you. Okay, that was a simplified version, but most people are stupid. You can't help stupid. All right, Hubble's cat did a wonderful job showing the benefits of socialism. That's why George Orwell wrote Animal Farm. Okay. Go check out the video. I know it's long. He should have divided it into two instead of making a long one with little bits of inserts from people theorizing. I have Rousseau, okay, the French philosopher. Only problem is he was an elitist, one of the bourgeois, and also he had a slave. So it Kind of when you talk about uh, theory and socialism, like uh, Mosaic, Mosaic Homesteader, capitalism is preying on the poor, socialism is used by the rich or the elite groups for their fancy ideas. Just like in Greece, let's have a democracy. Sparta, no, we'll have a re republic. Okay? Two different sets. And because Spartan is a republic and was defeated by democracy, okay, mob of people killing individuals eh, eh, eh. at that time, okay, a lot of people don't see it. Check out uh, uh, unple uh, Ungrateful Peasant, sorry, stitches. Ungrateful Peasant on history and stuff is fascinating and they skip a lot of socialists skip a lot of it reason why like George Orwell said most of their points of view is indoctrination propaganda and persuasion a fact okay I want to watch Hubble's cat's video some more because he edited a hell of a lot and he puts bits and pieces of stuff not the whole content, but certain pieces that you could easily digest. All right. I don't want to be one of these nuts on the comments, leaving a two paragraph or five paragraph explanation of their viewpoint. It's not logical. It's not factual. It's more indoctrination and also. All right. A lot of people don't understand of socialism. I study socialism. Socialism and communism started out same place except, uh, see, socialism and fascism are twins by students of uh, Karl Marx. One was Italian, the other one, I can't remember, was it Austrian or German. But anyway, from those guys, a lot of people don't really study political science. And it's a lot of nice stuff and a lot of hoopla, but in the same thing like George Orwell wrote 
in 1984 and Animal Farm, also down and out in London and Paris. Um, extremes of both, of both. London during from the 1840s until the uh, I think 1940s were the worst example of capitalism. Okay. Uh, if you want socialism, you go to France and it's same thing, the worst example of a socialism. A lot of people don't get it. A lot of people don't read history. Uh, compared to capitalism and socialism, socialism killed more people. Camel, ca uh, bleh, capitalism made more people poor. It's still alive, but poor. And uh, socialism, you're dead. Okay, keep it simple. Why? Because, uh, what you call it? Capitalism preys on the poor. Okay, you can't prey on the poor if they're dead. Socialism is all about control. So, smaller the population, easier to control, to manipulate, to manage. More power they retain. All you're doing is changing the power players. You're not solving any social solution. You just change the cards. One side capitalism, other side socialism. Okay? All you're doing is just changing the names. Alright? A lot of socialists will argue with me. I have other socialists argue back against them. Because they have two points of view. Alright? I'm keeping this simple uh, under 10 minutes. Because how about cats... Poverty in America is like, oh God, that gives you a headache. All right. A lot of people don't understand and a lot of people don't really care. A lot of people are, I have no idea that I was starving to death. And Hoover proved the point. Socialists makes terrible business managers and people to take out the garbage. All right. If you want a good society, you want somebody to take out the garbage. Okay? Perfect example in history was the Polish-Soviet War, right after the revolution, where Lenin and Trotsky tried to invade Poland. And they had Stalin to do all their dirty work. All right? And gave them weird directions on how to do warfare in Poland. They got their butts kit, and Stalin was like, Okay, it's time to get rid of these two. Alright? Because he did all the work. And Lenin and Trotsky gets all the credit. And we know what happened to them. Because Stalin was... Remember, Stalin was a criminal. He wanted to take advantage of what was going on. Okay? For personal gains and control. He didn't like Lenin. Lenin is like poster boy. Trotsky was the intellectual and here's Stalin hauling out the garbage and he was mad as hell during that time period. That's why you had purges and assassination. Okay folks, I'll let you think about that. Go check out Hubble's Cat's video on poverty in America. There's a lot of holes, pretty good editing, a lot of indoctrination, propaganda, and persuasion. This is my viewpoint. Uh, I may probably made a lot of socialists and a lot of college students angry. But best thing to show them, drop them off in North Korea. All right? And I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. Remember, grow a garden. Make sure you have some means to preserve that harvest. Uh, winter is coming. Fall is already here in some places. And it's going to be a weird one. Okay? Because I've been studying this track for Washington, Oregon, Idaho, uh, Montana, North Dakota. It's like this weird belt. And it's going to be cold, but it's going to be dry with warm to heat fluctuations. And then some parts of Canada will experience the same. You're going to have winter, drought, heat, all at the same time in different areas. 
okay? It's, it's washing machine weather. And I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. And I'll be seeing you. Bye now.